So let's look at the first quotation. Now, he is speaking directly here to Sheila and he says, you were annoyed with yourself and you passed this annoyance on to her. And of course, this is him referring to how Sheila used her influence to get Eva Smith fired from Millwards, which is the shop that she worked in. And Sheila basically caught her smirking and judging an outfit that she felt a little bit insecure with and thus she got Eva Smith fired. Now the word level analysis you want to do for this quotation is firstly the inspector is very accusatory towards Sheila. Do bear in mind that he's used as a figure who exposes the selfishness of Edwardian society. He is the figure that comes in and exposes the selfishness to this upper middle class family okay and the word level analysis due with this quotation is the repetition of this pronoun you twice okay and what this does is that it shows the inspector is very accusatory. He's basically uh, the person who is presenting the day of reckoning to the Burling family okay so it's their day of reckoning and he's now systematically going through each member of the Burling family and showing how they are implicated in the exploitation and ultimately the death of a poor working class woman and of course this is Eva Smith slash Daisy Renton. The second key quotation to remember when it comes to the inspector's character is when he's now moving on to Mr. Burling and of course it's Mr. Burling actually of all the other characters he arguably has the biggest issue with so of course it's Mr. Burling and Mrs. Burling um, however Mr. Burling who is even more powerful than his wife he seems to be far more accusatory towards okay and of course because he recognizes the power that men like Mr. Mr. Burling have in society. Now the key quotation here is when he states public men Mr. Burling have responsibilities as well as privileges and the key word level analysis that you want to do here is firstly the adjective public to talk about public men to say yes Mr. Burling I can see that you're really proud of your position in society but actually that position means that you owe society a debt, you owe a responsibility to society to be kind and to pay equally people who are weaker than you, people like Eva Smith. The other key word level analysis you can do here are the abstract nouns, responsibilities and privileges showing that whilst Mr. Burling of course enjoys the privilege of being a wealthy powerful man he also has a responsibility to give back to society of course shown through this abstract noun. Now the other quotation again relating to uh, the inspector's interaction with Mr. Burling is when he says you're offering money at the wrong time Mr. Burling and of course this is tied to Mr. Burling essentially trying to protect their reputation from what might be a really terrible crime uh, and of course obviously if Eva Smith's suicide is proven to be directly tied to the Burling family this would destroy their reputation and so basically Mr. Burling is trying to bribe the inspector and the inspector here is being sarcastic and ironic saying you're offering money at the wrong time. You sh this money that you want to pay me in a bribe you should have paid this money instead to Eva Smith. She probably would have still been alive and of course you'd been paying her a more fair wage. The word level analysis you want to do here is of course the verb offering and this is a present continuous verb of course this is showing how Mr. Burling is a little bit corrupt as a person and also the other word level analysis you want to do is the adjective wrong to describe wrong time and of course this is the inspector being sarcastic he's saying no this is not the time to offer money the time to offer money is when uh, Eva Smith was asking for a raise you should have given her money then rather than trying to bribe me. Now the final quotation you want to focus on with Inspector Gould's character is when he's now making a social commentary a social critique as to how there, there are dot 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 so uh, I've skipped out a few words here there are millions of Eva Smith's dot 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 all intertwined with our lives okay and the word level analysis you want to do here is of course the hyperbole millions to talk about how there are millions and millions and millions of people in Edwardian society who are incredibly poor and they are all connected even if the upper class and the middle classes don't see them as connected they are all intertwined okay one element of society is still reliant on another element of society okay and the inspector is basically also using the plurals Eva Smith's and of course he also talks about John Smith's and Eva Smith's and John Smith's these are just a metaphor for the poor people in society who are suffering and who uh, people like Mr. Burling, Mrs. Burling and the Burling family exploit for their own advantages and it's up to them. It's their social responsibility as powerful people to give back and to help these people in society. Okay, So that's really it when it comes to word level analysis and the key quotations to remember for the character of Inspector Gore.